While in Beijing, former Vice President Lian Zhan described the Second Sino-Japanese War as a joint nationalist communist effort. In a speech in Taipei today, Lian refrained from mentioning the communists. Instead, he said the war involved all Chinese people under the leadership of the nationalist forces. In Nanjing seven decades ago, a ceremony was held to mark Japan's surrender in the Second Sino-Japanese War. The Society for Strategic Studies chose the anniversary of this day to hold a special forum and book release, an event that was attended by President Ma ying Seventy years after this victory in the War of Resistance, I hope that mainland China can show goodwill to the veterans who fought by judging history according to its true merits. It should consider how these veterans feel. Lian Zhan was also in attendance. Ma left for the neighboring Armed Forces Museum before Lian arrived. In his speech, Lian did not mention a claim he made in China that the nationalist forces led the war from the front lines as the communist forces pinned down the Japanese behind enemy lines. The war of resistance against Japanese aggression involved all Han Chinese people resisting a foreign invasion. All the Chinese people under the leadership of the then nationalist government carried out this war of resistance. In response to the criticism directed Lian Zui, the director general of the society, Wang Wenxie, said there are no greater patriots than the Lian family.